Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Science is Everywhere. I'm your host, Savannah Stanley. Today we are going to be discussing Mold Day. But before we check in with our scientists to see how they're celebrating Mold Day, let's go ahead and take a quick overview of what a mole is and where this term comes from. So a mole was developed from Avogadro's number. And Avogadro's number was developed by Amadeo Avogadro. His scientific discoveries led him to develop a mole. So one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, particles, or molecules. This is a very useful measuring unit that helps scientists to quantify something so tiny like an atom. This is similar to saying that one dozen donuts equals 12 donuts. So one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, particles, molecules. So for example, a water molecule has a molar mass of 18. Therefore, one mole of water weighs 18 grams. So then within those 18 grams or the one mole of water, that means that we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. So in general, any one mole of any substance is going to contain Avogadro's number of molecules or atoms in that substance. Now that we understand what a mole is and where the term a mole comes from, let's talk about how we are celebrating Mole Day here at Flynn Scientific. One thing that I really like to do is create a little plushy mole using one of our lab kits. Here's one that I made out of blue jean material and here's one that I crocheted. So there's a lot of really cool ways that you can make a mole, but let's go and see how our scientists are celebrating Mole Day. Hey, what are you doing there? I'm trying to celebrate Mole Day by making a mole of tally marks. It seems like you're pretty busy. I'll go ahead and check in again later. Hey there, Alan. Happy Mole Day. How are you celebrating today? Hello, Savannah. Happy Mole Day. So the thing about Avogadro's number, excuse me, is that it's very big, like almost incomprehensibly big. And if we were to take a mole of soda cans and stack them end on end, they would extend from here out to the Andromeda galaxy. However, atoms are very small. And in fact, a mole of aluminium is scarcely enough to make two soda cans. And finally, before I started drinking from it, this can of soda contained approximately 20 moles of water. Cheers. Oh, hey there, Savannah. I'm still working on my tally marks. Okay, we'll go ahead and call you again later. Happy Mole Day, Jonathan. Wait, what are you up to? Hey, Savannah, I'm here in New York celebrating Mole Day, and to get a closer look at the Statue of Liberty, I'm about to hop on the ferry. An interesting fact about the Statue of Liberty is that although its frame is made of iron, her skin is made of copper. And get this, it required 62,000 pounds of copper. That is equivalent to 442,557 moles of copper. That is a huge number. And to get more reference, you can think about pennies. Pennies are made of zinc, but they are coated with a very thin layer of copper. And the amount of copper that was used to make the Statue of Liberty could be used to plate 450 million pennies. Wow, Jonathan, what a way to celebrate Mole Day. Okay, have a great day out there. Happy Mole Day, Elizabeth. I wanted to see how you were celebrating. Hey, Savannah. In biology, a mole is a small mammal that primarily lives underground. I thought it would be fun to see how big a mole of moles would be. There are many different species of moles, but most of them are pretty small. Most moles have a mass between 50 and 100 grams. For our calculations, let's use an average of 75 grams. To figure out the mass of a mole of moles, we'll take that 75 grams and we'll multiply it by Avogadro's number, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd.
When we do that calculation, we get 4.5 times 10 to the 25th grams. Or if we wanted to convert that to kilograms, we would get 4.5 times 10 to the 22nd kilograms. Wow, those are some huge numbers. How big is that? The mass of a mole of moles is about the mass of half the moon. Wow. Okay. That is huge. A mole is massive. I cannot imagine that. Okay. Well, have a happy mole day and I'll go ahead and talk to you again later. Hey, Jillian, are you still making those tally marks? Yes. Yeah, so far I have 1,275. And since I can make three per second, if I have everyone on earth helping me, we could finish in about 800,000 years. Okay, so that is a really long time. A mole sure is a massive value. Well, good luck with that, but you might want to cut it a little bit short. Thank you for celebrating Mole Day with us. Well, that is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for celebrating Mole Day with us. And don't forget to be looking out for more ways that science is everywhere.